how important is it to own the latest camera gear? I'll give you my perspective over the course of this video. This is the first camera I ever used to make short films, the TRV25. It used mini DV tapes and I remember finding it quite difficult to transfer the footage to my PC for editing. Still, footage I shot on this camera became an experimental short film called Scalpel to Bane, which went on to become an official selection at the 2004 Sundance Film Festival. I bought a couple of quirky cameras in the following years, but I didn't upgrade my camera in any meaningful way until late 2009 when I was hired to film behind the scenes video on a Bollywood movie. That's when I bought this camera, the Canon 7D, my first video DSLR. This is the first time I had footage to work with that made me feel like my films could be good looking by my standards. I didn't get a lot of work after the BTS job, so I started producing personal work, short documentaries about the art scene in Mumbai. One thing led to another, and we went from making videos about the art scene in Mumbai for ourselves to producing live music content for big name clients. We started filming fashion and lifestyle content in late 2012, and very early on in this new business, we had a really scary moment when the sensor of our camera was damaged by a laser during a fashion show that we were filming. Now, fortunately for us, the damage was towards the edge of the frame, more in the photo section than the video section. So we were able to run this camera for another two years before I bought the Canon 5D Mark III. A couple of years later, I bought the Sony A7S II because we were doing work that often required two cameras on set. And by this time, we were firm believers in the one is none principle. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we made a video where we mentioned this, and you can watch it here. The A7S II is what we film all of our videos on, including this one. Low or no budget content creation becomes harder when you don't own your own gear, because the cost can mount pretty quickly. Having said that, these days, the camera that travels with me wherever I go is my phone. And while the sensor quality does not compare with that of a DSLR or even higher grade cameras, it is not a bad option for run and gun shooting without having to break my back lugging heavy gear around. So here's my take on camera gear. I need a camera that can do its job. I prefer to invest instead in high-end lenses. In fact, higher-end lenses will survive multiple camera bodies. I don't need my gear to be a badge of how cool I am because I bought it the moment it hit the market. Trying to stay current with one's camera gear is the best way for one to become a starving artist who cannot even afford to pay their bills. I prefer instead to really get to know my camera and learn to work around its quirks rather than learning a new control system and finding my way through modified menus every six months or a year. I hope this video helped you make decisions about your own camera gear from the perspective of finding the best mix of affordable, versatile, and easy to use. Thank you for watching. And remember, today is as good a day as any to take the next step in your filmmaking journey.